Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the uh, John Ryder retires uh, video. I'm going to express my opinion on John Ryder officially retiring today. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, John Ryder today officially retired. Um, at 35 years old from the sport of boxing following his very tough TKO loss to uh, Jaime Manguia. Um, you know, Ryder, how do I feel about this? Um, I think it's the right decision for John Ryder. He, he's banged around, um, you know, for, for a bunch of years. Um, it was back in 2019 when he really, you know, hit the ground running and made a case for himself as a serious player when he um, lost a controversial decision to Callum Smith and a fight that there was a lot of people that thought he won. Um, after that, he was avoided for the next couple years and then COVID hit. But then in 2022, he got a major opportunity um, after going undefeated since the Callum Smith fight, he got a major opportunity against Daniel Jacobs who was a former two-time middleweight champion and was trying to establish himself at 168, um, you know, and make himself a big-time player. And, you know, Jacobs at the time had only suffered <clears throat> a couple losses in his career. Uh, a loss early on for a middleweight title prior to his cancer and then losses to, uh, decision losses to Triple G and Canelo. So he'd been in there with the big dogs. And, and he was winning first half of the fight. He was, he seemingly was out, out boxing <clears throat> Ryder, but it was close. Second half, John Ryder took over. He just put his foot on the gas pedal and really pressed uh, Daniel Jacobs. Good action, but he walked away with a, a clean 12 round split decision, you know, um, a deserving, let's say that instead of clean, because when it's that close, you can't argue that uh, he should have won uh, without a doubt, but a lot of people felt it was a deserving split decision, a close fight, and that really caused him to jump off from there. Then he took on um, undefeated Zach Parker, and after five rounds, Zach Parker had to pull out with an injury, so he got a TKO win, and that gave him the WBO interim super middleweight title. And then Canelo, he, he got the huge opportunity with Canelo because Canelo wanted a quote-unquote soft-touch opponent for his next fight because he was coming off a of surgery and he chose a mandatory fight against John Ryder. <clears throat> and John Ryder got beat down in that one. You know, Canelo dominated him, no doubt. He, uh, he fought as, as best he could, but he just couldn't keep up with Canelo's pace. And, um, and he got stopped in the fight, but... You know, nothing to hang his head about, you know? I mean, there really isn't anything to hang your head about when you lose to a fighter of the caliber of Canelo Alvarez. I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But uh, John Ryder, just a lot of heart. It's a guy that really just um, proved himself and, um, you know, uh, came in against Jaime Manguia and said that if he lost, he was going to retire. And he's sticking to his guns. You know, he, he was in the fight, but he took a couple knockdowns and just could not handle Jaime Manguia's power, who seems to be coming into his prime. And, um, and, and you know, when you lose to a younger fighter coming into your prime after suffering a loss in, in, in your most major fight against Canelo, um, you, you really got to reevaluate. And um, I think John Ryder's making the right call. You know, he's made the big-time money now. You know, he's got the signature win over Daniel Jacobs. Um, I think a lot of people feel... That fight with Callum Smith, you, you could have called it his way. Um, he got the signature showdown against Canelo and made the money. And he made one last effort and lost to a highly touted uh, contender, you know, in Jaime Manguia and a former champ. So um, nothing to hang his head about. I think it's the right call. John Ryder, the former two-time world title challenger, has officially retired from the sport of boxing. And I say good luck to him. That he that I, I was happy to have him in my top tens and see him um, compete at the highest level, um, and you know, congrats to him again. So that's it. That's what I got. That's the John Ryder retirement video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, 
or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.